The MMPI-3 offers a number of advantages. Uh, first and foremost, of course, we have the new norms that allow us to compare a test taker's scores with the current population of the United States. There have been some very significant demographic changes since the MMPI-2 and MMPI-2RF norms were collected, and these, of course, are represented in the MMPI-3 norms. Uh, we also have enhanced coverage of certain uh, areas that were not adequately covered in the uh, MMPI-2 and MMPI-2RF item pool, uh, things such as uh, disordered eating, uh, compulsive behavior, impulsivity, grandiosity. All of these are uh, areas that we cover uh, with a more expanded focus on the MMPI-3. We also offer a perspective that's very similar diagnostically to current approaches to uh, psychopathology in terms of hierarchical models that give us both a broad look at the kinds of problems in the high-level uh, analysis that a test taker is presenting with and all, all the way down to the very uh, specifically focused scales that give us information about symptoms and behaviors that are likely to be uh, of relevance to a clinical assessment or any applied uh, assessment. Uh, and it does so, the MMPI-3 does so in an efficient manner with a 335 uh, item booklet uh, that most test takers uh, can get through uh, in up to 50 minutes at most if they're using paper and pencil. And with a computer administration, we can probably get most individuals tested uh, in 25 to 35 minutes.